Are you telling them? Hey, can you look at the camera? Can you look at the camera? Is this daddy's video for the mods that he's done in the last week? Huh? You don't care nothing about it, do you? Who's that boy? Huh? So here's the stuff that I've done in the last week. Jesus. Oh, you're going to drop me, Dad. I guess if I screw this up and everything's not in the right place, which going off of the templates that Roush sends, uh, I guess if I screw it up, I can always buy a GT500 rear templates out and take a like a paint marker or something like that. You have to trace around the outside of those, but stay inside of these holes. Um, and then go to work and cut it out and it should so look something like that. I hope, I hope it's right. <laughs> so as some of you guys know, I'm kind of a stickler when it comes to things, especially with my car. Um, Certain things really irk me, and I want things to be right, and that doesn't always happen. So I'm going to uh, flip the camera around and show you guys what I was talking about as far as fitment goes and what I didn't like about it. And uh, I'll show you how how it should be and what I'm going to have to do to uh, make so it work. The gaps I was talking about in the pictures are right here from last weekend. Um, it's not that bad. You actually kind of got to get down and look at it to see it. Um, the bottom here and the top are actually really tight like the factory was. The gap on this side is not that bad. Um, that's just the way it fell as far as the uh, as far as the way the screws went. This piece is looks like shit and I don't like it. And then uh, you've got these pieces here that are supposed to be cut off. And I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to cut those off and make it look good. It didn't say in the instructions, so that's something I'm going to have to try to trim up and make it look right. And then the bottom here, they have tabs right here that were um, for the factory grill. And that's part of the tabs that they, like, they had holes in them and you pushed in and it clipped in. Um, and they want you to leave that there, but it stuck up like half an inch and it really looked like crap. Um, so I'm gonna have to take, get underneath, take the splash guard uh, back off, climb up underneath there and take a uh, Dremel and cut these down to where they're down here, straight all the way across so it looks uh, like I would want Those it to of you that haven't seen, I did get my wheels uh, put on finally. I think it looks pretty good um i i kind of wish the front would have been a little bit wider uh but i love the rears um they've got the concave look to them and i managed to fit a 305 tire on the rear um, i wanted a 315 but with the offset um the offset that's on there they actually told me that uh a 305 wouldn't fit that I was only going to get a 295 but uh, I did some research of some of the Mustang guys that have S197s and they're like no a 305 will definitely work um, you'll just have to stiffen up the rear shocks a little bit if you have that option and luckily I do and then this morning so these Roush tips uh, actually stuck out like an inch and I had them seated all the way um, up against the the mufflers and they were that way ever since I put them on and it drove me nuts to be honest with you because I'm a stickler about things so what I did this morning is I actually took these off cut the ends of them off and tucked them in there nice and tight so 
now they're nice and tight and not quite flush i didn't want them all the way flush um but i think they look a lot better and that's it for this video this one is actually bits and pieces of stuff um that are that's about a week older so i'm going to bunch together and put this video together um i think i don't really have anything else coming uh my next mod is pretty pretty far away i got a lot of money to save to make that happen and that's a vmp blower um so the next uh, actual mod video will be of a supercharger the next video will probably be um either later on this month or next month uh next month is april which i was invited to go to a private uh track rental that was invite only um so i have to put the drag set up on the car and uh, it's on a it'll be on a sunday i haven't got the information yet of what date it actually is but i'll be in kill care up in xenia and we'll be doing some uh, some good test and tuning on the car get the suspension dialed in get the tire pressures dialed in and uh, we'll get this thing into the 11s